Non-tariff barriers remain the biggest challenge facing the East African community. The East African Business Council is calling on the EAC member states to resolve non-tariff barriers that impede intra-regional trade. Trade within the EAC stands at about 13%, a figure which is low compared to other regional blocks such as the European Union that stands at over 70%. As Betty Kitum reports on the addition of the EAC integration, the elimination of NTBs will deepen and spur regional trade. Under Article 13 of the Customs Union Protocol, the EAC partner states have agreed to remove all existing non-tariff barriers to trade and not to impose any new ones. The protocol on the establishment of the East African Customs Union came into force in 2005. By ratifying the protocol, the East African Community Partner States agreed to remove with immediate effect all the then existing non-tariff barriers to the importation into their respective territories of goods originating in other partner states and thereafter not to impose any new non-tariff barriers. By so doing, they committed to formulating a mechanism for identifying and monitoring the removal of such non-tariff barriers. Despite this clear framework, non-tariff barriers still lie at the heart of the EAC integration process. NTBs include tax-like measures that impose a monetary cost on imports, quality and safety standards, import bans, and cost-increasing customs and trade facilitation measures incurred as a result of the monitoring and enforcement of trade facilitation and customs rules. A report shows tax-like measures account for the largest share, 40% of unresolved NTBs. The share of customs and trade facilitation measures in unresolved NTBs is 28%, which is significantly smaller than its share in resolved NTBs, standing at 45%. Meanwhile, the share of NTBs falling into the standards and bans categories is also higher among unresolved NTBs. The East African Business Council now says it is time NTBs are removed if the EAC integration process is to be successful. If the heads of state, in their infinite wisdom and with all of their power, can make declarations, declarations that say, Bring down these borders. Make East Africa a borderless region. Recognize that on the borders, brothers and sisters and families have lived for decades, if not longer. And now these artificial colonial borders have divided us. Enough is enough is enough about empty rhetoric and empty speeches. Either they declare East African community is a common region, or they don't, and stop wasting our time. Nesbitt says the region should take advantage of its challenges and solve them by opening up borders in order to diversify the economy. You take a regional approach, it helps every business person recruit anyone from our five, six, soon to be seven countries. It allows any business person to sell to anybody in those. What does that mean in terms of your resources available to you and what would, could that mean in terms of the market available to you? To prevent of NTBs, these measures we impose on our goods. So our, P, our peer and the core as EABC is to remove those barriers that hinder trade, to harmonize standards, to harmonize our SPS measures, to em embrace technology, uh, digitalization, EAC ministry officials say there is a need to ensure that transport, logistics and manufacturing work together for a common trade opportunity. There's a profound opportunity here today to reduce the cost and time of transportation throughout East Africa. If only the transport sector, the logistics sector, the manufacturing sector and the trade sector work collectively for a common opportunity. Intra-regional trade in the East Africa Community Trade Block stands at about 12%. To boost this number, the business community is insisting that governments need to deal with non-trade barriers, such as a ban on specific products, to ensure that trade within the region is enhanced. Betty Kiptum, Prime Edition.